In this video, we are going to see a peculiar problem. I have this web page which gives me cities and the temperatures. I want that data in Excel. And once I have that data in Excel, I will create a power map or use it for some other analysis. Although all the cities and temperatures are given here, they are in three physical columns. Ideally, for the data to be usable, we need them in just two columns. So let's see how to manage this problem. I'm going to copy this web page. Let's go to Excel and go to Power Query. In 2016, Power Query is integrated into the data tab under the Get and Transform group. If you are using Excel 2010 or 13, you will have to download and install Power Query. Once you do that, you will get a separate tab called Power Query. In either case, the menus are same. You have to go to From Other Sources and go to From a Web Page. Now we will paste the web page address and click OK. Now it has analyzed the HTML page and detected two tables in it. One is the base HTML document itself, but what we are interested in is this table zero. Although we have all the data we need, there are some unwanted columns. So I need to edit this and now follow the steps very carefully. Of course, we need to remove the unwanted columns. We need only six columns because there are three groups of two columns each. First column being city, second being the temperature. And I'll repeat that. Just use control click to select the desired columns. Now right click in any of the selected column header and say remove other columns. So we got what we wanted, but not exactly in the format we wanted. Now we have to do some tricky stuff. I'm going to duplicate this query. Again, click on table zero and say duplicate. So I have two copy, three copies now, same query. Before we do anything else, I'm going to decide what to do with those queries eventually. So you have to go to this close and load to and say, I'm just going to create a connection and then click load. So what happens? Just the base definition of what we did so far is saved as three queries. Of course, we have not finished our work, so I'm going to right click on the first query and say edit. Now we are back in the editor and our three queries are still here. Now what we really want to do is there are three sets of two columns each. So I'm going to keep the first two columns in the first query and remove the others. Now one more step which we can finish right here is because we want to combine these three queries into a single long query, the column names have to match. So let's put city and temperature as the column names. Now let's go to the second query and take the other set of cities and say remove other columns and rename the columns. Let's repeat the process for the third set as well. So now we have three sets of city and temperature, table zero, table another copy and another copy. Now we can go to the first table and append the other two tables to it. Now we'll go to table zero and say append queries. It's asking you table zero, what do you want to append it with, which is the second one. And now we say, okay. And notice what happens now, once the append operation is done, it is actually going all the way up to the last row in the second table, which is Mumbai. Make sure you're still with table zero. And again, say append queries, and this time we will choose the third table or query. And now we are almost done. But look at the data now. There are a few things we need to clean up. For example, there is some asterisk there. Let's get rid of that. So right click on the city column and say replace values. Wherever you find an asterisk or a star, we want to replace with nothing and click OK. Now the second problem is temperature. The temperature column is supposed to be a number, but it is left aligned, which means it is actually being considered as text because of the degree centigrade characters there. So I want to select exactly that character which I want to replace. 
So click on any cell. At the bottom, it shows you the contents of the cell. Just select the degree centigrade part of it. Copy it. Now right click on the temperature and say replace values with nothing again. So now we have got this. It's still not numeric. So we can now right click and say change type to whole number. There is an error that happened because the value there was NA, which is OK. Now we will go and say home tab, close and load. Notice at this stage, the close and load to button is inactive because that setting we have to choose in the beginning, which we have already done. Now, even now it has created everything we want, but because our original load to setting was create connection only, it has not imported the data yet. Now, if this was a very large list and I wanted to use it with other tables and data, ideally I would have put it in the data model. But in this case, for demo purpose, I'm going to import it into a normal Excel table. And now when I say load, I get the same data, but in a better manner, which has combined all the three column groups into two simple tabular columns. Now that the data is clean, I can use it for various other purposes. So that's all for now. Thank you.